first one is we're going to deal with flax. Told you flax is a plant. How do we get flax? Well, first of all, we broadcast the seeds. We don't plant in rows, and it grows. In this area, depending on how much moisture we get, uh, we can usually get two crops. We do grow flax here. We did not this year, the whole COVID thing. So, <clears throat> once it's matured, we pull it from the ground. You see the little root structure? Because you want the maximum length of fiber. Then, after we pulled it, we... <clears throat> Through, I'm going to have to scoop it up. We pull it through a rippling comb. That's what this is, a rippling comb. I made this up so that it can be good use for it. Do you see what happens to those little seed pods? Can everybody see them? We're collecting the seed pods. So that I have some to plant next year. After that, we lay it out of the ground for dew redding or we put it in a pond. The outer fiber of each straw starts to break down. Once it's broken down, we pull it out and dry it. Very labor intensive. And we begin the process to get so soft there for spinning. The first process is Flax break. That's what this is. Fibers. I'm not cutting it. I'm breaking those fibers down. And I'm pulling it. It's all in the wrist. And you can see it's starting to start to get a little bit more flexible. Processing of flax is a family endeavor. So young people will do some, older people, spinning and so on. Okay, you can see that there's some waste on the ground. And some of that can be used for bedding. Human bedding, bedding as well as the animal bedding. Next I'm going to do the so-called scutching. And I use what's known as a scutching knife. Another name for it is a swingling knife. This is oak. And you put it into a scutching board. And now I'm pulverizing it lengthwise. This is scutching. The best flax is grown, it comes actually from two areas. One is the Ulster, uh, which is Northern Ireland, and then also the district of Cotron, which is just outside of Brussels, Belgium. This is a 17th century rippling, which we can pull through. This is another type of scutching board. Sometimes I use it if I was doing an indoor demonstration. Or you can just pull it that way. We did it on a large one. The next process is hackling or hetchel. This is a hackle board. Notice the holes here. That would normally be pegged or nailed to a large oak table. And you start to pull these through here, like so. And I start to pull down. Notice it's graduated. 
so it gets finer and finer. These are 18th century. Sometimes they're dated. Sometimes they have hearts and so on. It's kind of fun. So if somebody comes around to your house and starts hearts and so on, ask them what their intentions are. You know? so. so I hope you can see we're going from thick to finer and finer and finer. Okay, so then we go over here. The one I'm showing you today is, uh, this is 18th century from the Lake Winnipesaukee region. Wow. Flax uh, wheel actually has a number of interesting parts. This is a table. This is a masculine side. This is the feminine side. Masculine <laughs> side, you have these two uprights. You have this little forged piece of iron, which is called the head of the footman, and then this is the footman. This is the feminine side. This is the mother of all. Can you see this little bar here? These are the two maidens. And then this is the flyer, or bird, and you can see it's shaped like a little bird. And then the distaff. Many of you know that the distaff side refers to the feminine gender. You see the Bible and so on. Distaff, distaff side. This is really combed flax. Okay, um, my, <coughs> I'll just pull some of this. Normally I would do in a full loop, but I want everybody to be able to see. Do you have a question? <laughs> so remember, this is all plant fiber. Now we'll see. Whoa. Everybody out of the rain? Why is it? Oh, here. Oh. Yeah, it came off. <laughs> and there we are. Wow. You spin for something. You can do very heavy if you want a very like a um, like a blanket like you have the flags wrapped up there or it can be something very fun. What's your name? What? What is your name? Osma. I'm sorry. Osma. Oh, Osma. Here. Hold on to that. Okay, Osma. I want you to start walking backwards. Slowly. Keep going. Keep going. You're going to run into a pole there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Hold it a little tighter. Oh, do you lose it? Here. <laughs> there. there you go. That's good. So, do you have to flax. This is, actually, this is from uh, Northern Ireland. This, you just feel soft in it. You've heard of people with flax in hair. We have what's known as a wool wheel. This is a wool wheel. This is only for um, spinning wool, whereas a small flax wheel, or Saxony it's often called, could be used for fine wool as well. Uh, do I have another pair of cards? Oh,
No, I'm sorry. That's, that's okay. It. I'm gonna just use one. Me, I'm This is uh, English Lincoln Longwool, which is the breed that we've raised on this farm for over 30 years here. These are called cards. And what I'm doing is I'm carding this. I'm doing it standing up a little different. But what I'm trying to do is a number of things. First of all, I'm arranging the wool so it's all going in the same direction. Secondly, I'm getting rid of all the little foreign particles that sheep pick up. Believe it or not, they pick up things. Well, you know what the third thing is I'm distributing it and actually beginning kind of a spin in it. See, it's like an airplane. You see that? Yeah. What I'm doing is creating an oil or a... What's that? Yeah, I made those earlier because I knew you were coming. See, it's just a little tube of wool. And what you do is you spin off the point. I have this cork on there because, believe it or not, sometimes there's little people around. And we don't want them to get home. You've heard of somebody getting their finger pricked? Or pr oh, yeah. It's on a wheel like this, not like you see in all the books like that over there. So. And I'm spinning off the point. Notice when I turn the wheel, it falls off that point. Off, 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 off. So actually what's happening is I'm putting a twist into the wool because I'm controlling it from this end. Some people in the 20th century started calling this a walking wheel because you kind of walk backwards. But it's actually just a wool wheel. And that's what we see in the household inventories and probate inventories in old houses and so on. Um, those are actually binding into one another. Wool is just an amazing fiber. And then you wind it up. It's not the Grim Reaper. This is uh, this is a scythe which is used for cutting grass and so on. And this is was yeah, a pair of these was dug in Kittery also on an archaeological dig. And then I had a historian make me the heft or the handle for that. So it's sharp. But I wanted to show you tools that were used in the area here. This is a 17th century axe with a modern handle on it. Here we have a hoe. This hoe is. Yeah, uh, yeah, let me get that. Yeah. This hoe, you should look at it up. It just has beautiful forge well. This is probably 17th or 18th century. Isn't that wonderful? I use that in my garden. I don't know if you saw it. A little salad garden. This is for keeping goats. Goes around their little thin neck, and they can't go through the fence because they've got this crazy thing going on. This is a tangent. This is how you. Hold it on. Yeah, that's what I Who's the parent of this kid? Sort of. No. Yeah. Uh, I'm keeping him. <laughs> yeah. You got to go? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Was, oh, get my blue boot jack. I was going to demonstrate the boot jack. It's right next to where you put it. That's why you Okay. This is what? What's your name again? Finn. What? Finn. Finn, you sure of that? Okay, so see how you do that? No. You carry that? Not, um, oh. There you go. Oh. 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 
but I could pull these straps and see. I didn't know you were coming, Tim, so I couldn't measure you. What's that? I'm not going to lie for you. You're fourth floor. Fourth grade. Can you see things? Yeah. Oh, she's going to be okay. Hook him up. Hook him up. Hook him up. Well, you kind of get the drift here. <laughs> yeah, the leather, it, I've waxed it a number of times still, but it's been going around for years. But he would go down to that oh, well, where the wells were down, and he'd get these water. In the <laughs> so there you are. I've always taken a boot jack for, for granted, but so many children come to our house and they ask about, how does that work? Well, No, you're coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to use you for a leaning post. You're my leaning post. After all, I've, I've turned 50. i got to be careful. <laughs> so you pull it off that one. See? Oh, it's cool. See? Some people have never seen it before. I need one of those. <laughs> <laughs> That's how that works. Have you got to have Have I covered you. all the... Thank you. Thank you, Wonderful, wonderful animals. We had them.